Right, I have some news. I'm gonna break the news to you. Hi guys, and welcome back, and welcome to another video. Yep, you've heard the intro once again. I am here, and we are heading down once again to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. It is another day, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. As you can see behind me, there is Mr. Jay Spaghetti on the head. He's sat in his car. Uh, put your head out the window. Yeah, we'll have that. He is there in his stunning 488, and we are still in the Mercedes AMG GTC. We're gonna go in and just enjoy the day. How are we, sir? Alive and well. How's the hair? Uh, it's been better. Need, needs a bit of a refresh, but we're there. We're still, we've still got tag and telly. And you're still enjoying your lovely 488? I ask him that every time, don't I? Yeah, you, you do, do ask him, yeah. Him. Huh? Same every time, it's always the same. Yes, I'm still enjoying it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks very good, very clean. Always, yeah. Yeah. And we're still in uh we're still in the same car, mate. We are, yes. Yeah. Yes, you, we are. So you joined me at Goodwood. We're actually the day after that because I was going to film yesterday and then ended up rushing around. Um, so we are down here on the final day. Tony's here. How are you, sir? <laughs> How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. You're looking very good. Nice attire. That's what rich men wear. That means clothes in normal terms. What are those? What are those? Push this comfortable footwear. What are those? They're mayhem, and not a good way. So, what are they, mate? Are your shoes all right, mate? I don't really care what you think, because no. I've got more money than you, so I don't care. <laughs> I've got a question for you. Ready? Stop there. Dance. Three, two, one, dance. We're run you can run and dance, go. Three, two, one, run and dance. <laughs> Whenever you're here, you are greeted with some amazing cars. Tony, like a Porsche Panamera, mate? No, that is baller car. Yeah? Oh, yeah, there's a good comparison. Lusso or that. Yeah, oh, there we go. Lusso or Panamera, what would you go for, mate? That's actually quite hard, isn't it? What would you go for? What would you guys go for? Put it in the comment section down below. Would you have a Lusso or would you have that? Yeah, the Ferrari. Probably the it's got the right badge. Someone's actually in that Panamera and we're just saying rather the Ferrari. I'm so in love with Porsche, that was so odd. Really? Like, honestly, like. What, so you nearly bought one of them? Yeah, yeah. Really? Proper thing, mate. Yeah. So good, and it looks cool as well. Then you realise you couldn't afford it. Today is the day me and Tom are going up the hill. Going up with a friend of mine who is a racing driver, just like myself. Is he better than you? Uh, that's not difficult. Yeah. You, what I am going up in the hill today, I am going up in this, what is behind me, the Ford Mustang Bullet. This is a limited run Mustang in memory of Steve McQueen, 50 years on, from I believe the car from the film. The Ford Mustang Bullet, how cool is that? You can see Bullet on the wall there. This is from the original Mustang from the film. It's sort of like a recreation, and doesn't it just look absolutely amazing? I just think from the front, you're gonna get annoyed that I'm gonna say it's got presence. It actually does. It's got good presence from the front of it. Um, it's got like a very sort of funky grill um, as well. I personally just like the green, which it is, because the, the original car in the film is green as well. Obviously, if you haven't seen the film Bullet, it's a very famous film, and there's a very famous car chase in that film. Oh, we've got something leaving there. That's pretty cool. This is inside the Mustang Bullet. How cool is this? How it says Bullet there, instead of like Ford or whatever, it's just so sick. And he's got Bullet here, and PP005, so this is car number five but i love here how it's just all like so original from the car itself with this manual box with the sort of the white sort of gear shift as well i just think it's so sick so if you are wondering how many of these cars have been made there are roughly a thousand so it's very limited numbers and the moment this car came out i was very very intrigued i've just been told there are roughly 340 cars in the uk coming to the uk and if you're thinking about how much they're gonna cost, I think it's 50, 60,000 pounds, but they're limited. So if you can get something where there's only gonna be 300 cars in the UK, it could be quite good news. And it's different, it's different. I mean, most, I mean, if you're in America, Mustangs are everywhere. In England, they're becoming more common, but something which is like 300 in the world as well is just very cool. We are just heading out. Look at these crowds. They're in the bullet. Yes, give it a rev. Sounds good. And it goes sideways. May I introduce you to Paul? Just doing my job. Paul is the man taking me up the hill today. So you've had a lot of time in this car, Paul. Yes. How do you? I, I own two. You own two Mustangs? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do you think to the bullet then? <clears throat> Fantastic. It's really? Everything I ever wanted from a car, really. And Are you getting one? 
Uh, I haven't actually ordered one, but I would love one. You yeah. would love one. Reignited uh, an old flame from the from the film. Uh, we've got the the original um, car from the film behind us. Yeah, I know. I've seen that. It's mad. Side by side. Up yeah. Here. It's basically a similar. It's the same as a normal Mustang, just kind of underneath. Exactly. Yeah. It's, but, uh, but just more of a recreation outside, externally and visually. Exactly. It looks. Uh, it looks the part. There it is. That is following us in, and that is the that's the original car from the film, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, Sean, his dad bought it. Uh, Steve McQueen asked his dad to sell him, and he refused. Really? And it's been a big secret until about two years ago. That wow. That is going to surely that car is worth a lot of money. I love as well on these all the digital display which you have just there. Sound and stuff. Does it make much difference if you put it into sort of race and things like that? Yeah, I put the exhaust into. Um, into sport race track on this. It makes so, a big difference. Yeah. So these cars which are coming down the opposite way. The Polestar. Got Paul, give it a rev, mate. <laughs> there is the new AMG. Looking good. The G-Wagon. Pikes Peak Bentayga. Are we gonna do a little donut here? <laughs> you know we are. Paul is a uh, is a stunt man. You are a stunt man, aren't you? That's right. So he does he's done the whole hill on two wheels. I'm not even joking. He's got the first man ever to do it, to do the That's whole right, thing. Yeah. In, on two wheels. This man is mental. <laughs> yes! That was sick. You felt that, sick? No, 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 that was sick. Does it go round easy as well? Yeah, she's like a dream. This, she's a dream. Hello, I have my helmet on. Right, do I, look a, do I look an idiot? Yeah, I look an idiot. Anyway, we'll go with that. Mental how much attention this car gets from people. Steve McQueen lovers love, well, if you don't know much about Steve McQueen, he was a legend. We've got the original car next to us. That is so cool. we got company. There it is, that's the original. Mad, that is madness. That's got to be worth in the million, surely. And we're off. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, that's chaos! This is mad! Wow! Everyone is loving it! <laughs> We're on the grass! Oh, look at the smoke! Hello! Hello! In we go, coming up to the flint wall. Little rev, and we're in. Right on the left. Here we go. It's got some steam! Around the right. Nicely does it. <laughs> oh, and the finish line is uh, this man can drive. Thank you so much. But what an experience to go up with uh, the original Mustang and that. People just love it, don't they? Yeah, they do. No. So cool. It's a very, very iconic car, and uh, now we've got a, a, a younger sister to, to match. And then we arrive. Oh, here we go. This is Paul. This is a bit of you, Paul. <laughs> Right, so this is the original one which came up and look at them side by side, so cool. But the car park we have here is just madness. Honestly, that was such a cool experience. In a moment, I don't think I'll ever forget going up the hill with the original Mustang Bullet. So iconic and so cool to look at and just, it's different. I mean, it's just a piece of history and everyone knows on my channel, well, you might not know, but I just kind of like a piece of history in terms of my family background and things like that and with my grandfather and this just sort of, when this was going up with that alongside, I was like, you know what? That is just one of the best experiences I've done in a long time. And it might sound totally ridiculous, but it just really was. Look at all these cars. Shmi's in there. Hello, sir. The Pista's here, um, 812. Portofino's here. I mean, it's just the coolest car park which you can, which you are ever going to go in. Aston Martin, the new Vantage, uh, the DBS, and then we'll walk down here. We've got the Vulcan. This is just absolutely mental and sounds mental as well. And there'll be things just sort of screaming as we go back down the hill. Um, it's just amazing, like waving to all the marshals and stuff. You know, marshals? If we didn't have more. If we didn't have marshals, we wouldn't be able to have events like this. So we have to remember stuff like that. These marshals are volunteers, they work for free, and uh, yeah, we've always got to thank the marshals and everything that make all these events like this possible. And what we're going to do now is we're going to head back down in the bullet, and uh, I will let you know this news which I have for you um, in just a second. It is time to leave the Goodwood Festival Speed. Have we all had fun? Yeah. 
Have you had fun, Tone? Yeah. Tom, how's your week been? Uh, That's about you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, a bit old now, but... Right, I have some news, and that is, before we leave, I'm going to break the news to you Hello. of what I've been talking about on this Mustang Bullet. We went up, and it was obviously an amazing car, history, Steve McQueen, and it looks very, very cool. The reason why I went up in this car is because my dad has gone and ordered a new Ford Mustang Bullet. You might... Gordon has ordered a, no, I'm joking. <laughs> my actual dad has, you might have seen earlier on, in, so a few months ago on my channel, I showed you his Audi SQ7. The reason why he's bought this, my granddad won Le Mans in 1953, and it's kind of like a bit of history. Steve McQueen to the older generation is a legend. Fairly happy for him, it's gonna be very cool. I'm not sure when this car is going to arrive exactly, probably towards the end of the year, maybe early next year, but the cars come in the green which they're in with the black wheels, etc. I think they're all pretty standard. Get roof off, lad. Yeah, get that roof off, lad. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy for my dad. He's gonna have the SQ7, alongside that, he's gonna also have a Ford Mustang Bullet. There will obviously be a full collection, won't there, Tom? Oh, yes, boy! There we go. So. That's the news for today, Tony. Why don't you put in the title, I bought the full Mustang bullet? I'm not gonna do that. It's my dad's car, it's not mine. If something's mine, it's mine. Like the Lamborghini's mine. Daddy, 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 buy me a car, please. <laughs> the M2 was mine, I saw that. The A45 was mine. So yeah, it's my dad's car, it's not mine. I like to be truthful with you guys. This is a true channel. We like to keep things truthful on this channel. It's been a good day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, bye. <laughs> Right, let's end the video seriously. Tony, give me a, give me a, oh. come on. Yeah!